Following this, we are also going to do the play next and play music functions, which will allow us to actually play the music itself. So, first we're going to do async def play music. And async just means that it's an asynchronous function. It can be called at any time. Um, and we're going to pass in self and ctx. And remember, ctx is the context for the message that was sent. Then we're going to do id equals int ctx.guild.id. I think we've been over this. Let's see. Yeah. It's it's basically just getting the, I, the guild id from the uh, context of the message. If self.q index at the id is less than length of self dot q sorry self dot music q at the id so basically if if the q index is less than the length of the music q uh then we're going to do this function otherwise there are no other songs to play in the music queue so we can't play the music if that is true then we're going to say self dot is playing equals true and self dot is paused equals false then we're going to go down here await self dot uh join vc we're calling that function that we did earlier and we're going to say ctx self dot music q um at the id and then in in the music queue net so self dot music queue at id is an array we're, remember it's a dictionary of arrays then we're going to do in that array at the q index q oops uh, q index at the same id ooh, whoops the q index at the same id and then one so in the music queue we're going to do at the music queue of the ID, which will give us an array in our server of what our music queue is. Then in that music queue, we're going to go to the index of wherever we are at the same server ID. And that is what we're doing. And then we're going to do one. So the first thing in the song at the music queue. The first thing in the music queue will actually be the voice channel that we need to join. So it's saying await self.joinvc. It's taking in the context of the message, and then it's also giving us a voice channel to join. Then we're going to say the song equals self.musicq at id. And then in that music queue, we're going to do self q index at id and then this is going to be zero so at the zeroth term of the music queue index will be the song which is right here this is the song itself then we're going to do message equals uh first we're just going to say message right here uh we'll make an embed for it later so that it's more fancy uh then we're gonna say await ctx.send message and that'll basically just mean we're sending the message to the text channel that the original command was sent in then after that we're gonna do self.vc at id dot play discord dot ffmpeg pcm audio and then we are going to do another parenthesis and we're going to play the song and we're going to play the song's source oops source and then comma with self dot ffmpeg options and that is what will be in these parentheses right here. Once this play command is done, so after equals lam, lambda e, and that basically it just means after this function is done, we're going to do self.play next with the ctx. 
So now we're going to make the play next function, which is going to be pretty similar to the play music function. Um, so we're going to do def play next, and we're going to pass in self and CTX. And we'll come back to this later. We're going to just do pass for this right now. So basically what this is saying is that it wants to go to the, the voice channel that is at our server, then play uh, using FFmpeg audio. We want to play the uh, source of the song, which remember is the source for the actual audio extracted from the song with the uh, FFmpeg options. And then once that is done, we want to go to play next because it's automatically going to play the next song in the queue. But if this doesn't work out, we're going to say else and await ctx.send. Um, and we're just going to say there, there are no songs in the queue to be played. And then after that, we're going to do self .q index at ID plus equals one. We're going to just add one to it. And we're also going to do self dot is playing equals false. And that is our entire play music command. Then we're going to go up to the play next command and do this, which is going to be really similar to the play music command. Um, but we are not going to be doing the join VC, I think. Yeah. So we're going to do the same thing with ID equals this. So if not self dot is playing or whoop, not paused playing at ID, then we're going to just re return. So basically, if audio isn't already playing, then it's uh, the play next command won't work. So we're just going to return. Um, then we're going to say if self dot q index at ID plus one is less than the length of self dot music q at ID. Basically, it's doing the same thing as right here. It's checking to see if there are any songs that are playable next in the queue. Um, then we're going to do self dot is playing at ID equals true and self dot Q index at ID plus equals one. So we're going to add one to the Q index. Um, we need to do this here rather than in here because this is just play music. So it's play the current song. This we actually need to skip to the next song and then play it. So we're checking first to see if we're able to play a song, then we're adding one to the Q index and playing the next song. So we're going to say song equals, and it's the same thing as before, the self dot music you at ID is self dot Q index at ID and then zero. So this is the actual song that's going to be played. Then message equals message. We'll come back to this later. This will be another embed. So we actually need to do a special coroutine function in order to send this message. So what we're going to do is we're going to say coroutine or just co row um, equals ctx dot send in, uh, and then we're just going to put message here. So that is the function that we want to do. But since we aren't in an asynchronous uh, function, we aren't able to do the await stuff. But we need to do await in order to do the ctx.send and self.join and all that stuff. So we're going to make a coroutine as a variable, which is this is the command that we want to send. Then we are going to say a variable equals run coroutine threads fair and then co row self dot bot dot loop oh whoops co row and then we're going to try but dot result and accept accept pass so 
basically we're going to make a coroutine function we're going to put it in here and run try to run this function so after that we're going to try um, to get the result of that function if we're not able to do that then the exception will just be to do nothing and that will allow us to send our message when it's not in an asynchronous function so next we're actually going to say the same thing as before so self.vc at id etc etc we're going to play the audio Okay, so same thing as the as before, where we're basically just going to take the VC, we're going to play the audio from the source using FFmpeg audio and these options, and then afterwards we're going to do self.play next, which is just going to play, we're going to call this function again and play the next thing. So for this if statement right here, so if it fails, like if we don't have any songs left in the queue, we're just going to say else and we're just going to say self dot q index at id plus equals one and a self dot is not is paused is playing at id equals false so now we have our play next command and i think yeah so these are all of the functions that we're going to need for now so now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to make an embed. This is what an embed looks like. So here's the bot that I coded earlier, and it basically allows it to make it look like, so if I type a message, then it's just a normal message, but embeds just allow you to format the text easier and make it look cooler in general. Um, you can also add images to embeds. So that's where our thumbnail is going to be. Uh, the thumbnail in here we're going to add this thumbnail to our embeds and all that stuff first off we're going to go back up here and we're going to make constant variables for all of the colors in our embed we're going to do self dot embed blue self dot embed red self dot embed green and I'm just gonna make all of these um, similar to my other bot so these are just random variables for the colors and I have the hex codes in here Okay, so up here, we're going to make a little function for generating embeds. We're going to do def uh, generate, or actually no, we're going to do def just the now play, now playing embed. And we're going to pass in self, ctx, and the song. So the context of the message and the song that we want to play. So first we're going to do the title of the song. Oops. Title equals song title. <coughs> Whoops. Title. Then we're going to do link equals song link. Then we're going to do thumbnail equals song thumbnail. Author equals ctx.author. Uh, we're getting the author of the message that was the command that was sent so if i send a message saying add this song that variable will be me uh my discord username and then we're also going to do avatar equals author dot avatar url and this will allow us to have the author's um user profile picture uh, to work with. So now that we have all of these variables, we can actually make the embed. So we're going to do embed equals discord dot embed in this embed, say title equals now playing. So that will be what is right here. This is the title. And then we are going to say description equals and then we're going to make a string but we are going to format the string so press uh, f in front of here and that will allow us to put variables inside of the string so 
in this description, we are going to do two brackets and then put the title of the embed first. Then we're going to do parentheses and put the link of the embed. So there's a lot going on here. Basically, with embed descriptions, if you put anything in brackets and then something in parentheses directly after it, it will act as a link. So the things in the brackets will be the text displayed for the link, and the thing in the parentheses will be the link that it actually takes you to. So that is what we're doing here. Then this F right here allows us to format uh, the brackets in here. So anything we put in brackets can be a variable. So instead of just typing out, here's a string title, that doesn't work. So instead, we can do F and then a string and then put something in brackets and say title. And now that uses that variable in the string. So that is what our description will be. And the description is right here. So it's all the small text. Then we can say color and it's spelled with a U equals self dot embed. We'll do embed blue. And then we'll do out here, we're going to say embed dot set thumbnail. And then we're going to say the URL equals the thumbnail URL. And we're also going to say uh, embed dot set footer. And put that in as text equals. And again, we're going to format this string. Uh, we're going to say song added by, and then we're going to say uh, convert the author of the song to a string. So string and author, and there we go. And then we can add in the icon URL equals avatar, and that will basically allow us entirely to um, have our full embed. Oh, and I forgot to, we actually have to return the embed first. So return embed, and that will be what our return statement is. So now that we have our embed, um, I can show you what it looks like, but we don't have it set up where we call the uh, making of the embed yet. So I can't really show you. But if I say um, for the bot that I coded er earlier, uh, play, uh, non copy wait whoops I have to be in a VC play non copyright sounds uh, this should be what the embed looks like so we have our color right here are now playing our link and then our user name and photo right here with the thumbnail of the video on the right so whenever we want the now playing embed we can actually go down to we want it in both play next and play music so instead of this message, we can say self dot uh, now playing embed, and we're going to do CTX and song. We need to say embed equals message in the coroutine in the CTX dot send. We need to specify that it's an embed actually. Then we also have here, we need the uh, self dot now playing embed, send in CTX and the song. And then in here, we need to specify embed equals message. So we'll go up, uh, the message will generate the embed from up here, which will be all our song information. And then it'll come back down here, say CTX dot send embed equals the embed that we just generated. And that will be how we display that the song is in the queue now. 